so I am just so thrilled about my new garden this is my new square foot garden and I have been enjoying it all year we moved it up around in January and February and I started planting just as soon as I could and so I have cabbage growing and I have some sugar snap peas they are now in bloom and everything is just going great just to recap, when you are starting a square foot garden, it is important to make sure it is in a sunny area and it's best if it's near your house where you're entering and exiting your house. The area where I had my square foot garden beds were shaded by trees. I guess about six years ago when we put them down there, it was fine, but the trees that are around it have just doubled in size it seems and the area was only getting about four hours of sun each day so um, I really couldn't really grow much down there not the favorite things like the summer vegetables tomatoes and cucumbers they did okay but they I knew they would do better in a sunny area and you know you do want it to be near your house so that when you're entering and exiting your home you can just run over there and check on your garden to make sure there's nothing really bad going on like critters eating all of your vegetables and you need to put down some kind of barrier or maybe you have an insect infestation just showing up also just to make sure that you are keeping any of the plants that need a lot of water you're keeping them watered so it's always nice to make sure it's close to your home and so now mine is it's not way far off in the backyard down a steep hill where there is kind of swampy because it's near a pond and then there's a black walnut tree there so anyway I'm just thrilled that we finally moved these beds and so um, I took a look after the long snow that we had um, over the winter and I had a lot of plants that survived like spinach and cilantro and turnip greens and so I dug those up before we moved the beds I wanted to transplant those into the new garden so I selected my spot and it's up on a hill so there's a lot of air circulation and I put down my weed block this area is 12 by 12 so it's not huge but it's nice and level and if you're not familiar with how you put together a square foot garden all you do is put down your weed block and I secured it with some landscape pins and then my husband and my son moved up the garden beds for me thank goodness <laughs> that was quite a job and then of course we had to move the soil so my son helped me with that and I did a lot of it too and then I wanted to just give the soil a little bit of a facelift so I went ahead and added some more peat moss along with some more compost and some more coarse vermiculite and my beds are eight inches high but once all the soil settles it'll be about six inches deep so um, I like to have my beds a little bit higher than the book recommends it makes it easier for me to you know work my soil I also took this time to clean out my composter and I had a lot of really nice compost in here I think I make about two batches a year so I'm not real diligent about you know turning it like I should I won't go into a lot of depth on how I make my compost but it is in the book um, in there um, you can put just about all of your kitchen scraps you know not left over from your dinner plate where you cooked with oil and meats or anything like that but you know certainly you know your orange and lemon peels all of your um, little green stems or anything like that that you're not using can go right into your tumbler I like to just dump it out into my little wading pool and then I just clean it out by hand anything that hasn't broken down like stems really you should grind your eggshells down and sometimes I get lazy and I don't I just throw them in there so I'll pull out any that are too big um, and just things like that until it looks nice where I can use it in my garden and so uh, sometimes I'll put this back into my tumbler after I've cleaned it out um, but this time I wanted to go ahead and use all of it in my new garden I also use some to side dress my blueberry bushes so this is basically what I have been doing most of all of February and then I mentioned I transplanted up my spinach this was spinach that I actually planted last fall 
so I wanted to make sure to put it up here just to give my garden a little bit of a head start and I've been using that you guys may have seen me use it in a dish recently I'll leave a link if you missed it even though spinach and cilantro does not transplant well I wanted to make sure to try to give them a new home and it worked out great and just as a quick reminder if you have clicked that little bell off to the right of the subscribed button you should be getting all notifications for my channel and what I like to do over there in the community section is just let you guys know what I'm doing kind of behind the scenes maybe I made a nice dish with something from the garden or maybe I'm planting something um, it's just a kind of a fun way to kind of fill you guys in on what's going on so I posted some things over there about the snow that covered my garden in March and my cabbage did great along with my peas and of course the spinach and cilantro and everything has just been coming along great so I've just been really enjoying it I love the new location I put up some little arches too and I did a video on the arches oh goodness it's been several years ago but you can get these a lot of different places like um, let's see somebody told me that they're available at Joanne Fabrics and Hobby Lobby I think I got mine at a place called Old Time Pottery and I ordered some on Amazon too but I'll leave a link about these arches which are perfect for tomatoes or green beans I use them for my pole beans mostly and I also tie a little string around the arches so that the beans can grab on it so some of the things that I've been enjoying include some lettuce that I planted along with some Chinese cabbage those have been growing great and so the peas are just climbing up the trellis here and I'll have some peas here any day I just cannot wait to get my peas this year and then this is another planting of the Chinese cabbage this is my second planting and I planted some onions and I have a little nasturtium that has already blooming for me and the beets are coming along nicely and this is my second planting of peas I like to do two plantings of different crops so that I will have a continual harvest over many weeks instead of having everything come in at one time. And then here is some more spinach and my potatoes are up and growing. These are the little rose fin apple fingerling potatoes. And my seven top turnip greens which are ready to harvest right now. And I have a lot more cilantro plants coming up along with some more spinach. I have some shallots some scallions and I have already planted my tomato plants I am growing some beef steaks and some little cherry tomatoes in the garden this year and then I have my jade cucumbers this is a, a little Asian slicing cucumber the kind that are almost seedless and then I threw out some basil seeds I'm planting about four different kinds in one square I also planted my greasy pole beans and then a couple of big bell peppers and there you go I hope you all are out there having fun digging in your dirt too and if you have any questions about anything you saw in the video just leave them down below and I will certainly try to help you out uh, thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day